Well, welcome back everyone. Without further ado, let's get into this mission. Our party grows bigger. Okay, so it's a Cerberus lab, so let's bring people with connections to servers. So we'll bring ED and uh, I think they said no one else has Cerberus connections. Let's try our new boy Javik. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. On my way. Signature is definitely Reaper technology. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Huh. Will only lead to Metagel advances for Hanar. Only Cerberus would call that a failure.
strategy. Cortez, second sample secure. Heading back to you now. We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. It's a chance to kill more Cerberus. Stay tight. This could get rough. Copy. He is likely dead. He'll make it. Let's just keep the landing pad clear. That guy threw that grenade backwards. point now. the extraction point. Ready for pickup. Best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. <laughs>
Yes, Commander? That's all. Of course, Commander. Alright, so the plan is, I'll do whatever quest is on these galaxies, if the Reapers get into the same galaxy. Those would be immediate quests, but as for right now, since they don't seem to be in any immediate threat, I'm going to continue doing the quest that I've been doing, which is to save that one professor's daughter or something. these dick side quests.
Whoa, why is gas so low? I found something. Okay, how do we refill our gas? Oh sure, let's do this, why not? There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? We'll be back. Troops are trying to get in. Get ready. 
Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... God, it's been... 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off work. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the Resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frovert. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Maybe more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. She needs help now. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you.
Get back! It's okay. We're Alliance. Alliance? given us time to catch our breath. I tried to set up a defensive perimeter, but I don't know how much longer we could have held out. Don't sell yourself short, man. You did better than most. We're here to get you off the station. I'm Commander Shepard. This is Ensign Rodriguez. I'm Ensign Prangley. Who's in charge, Prangley? Our commander was... Um... I guess... I'm in charge, sir. Ensign... You've done a hell of a job holding out like this. Now we're getting you out of here. Okay. Uh, we need a bit to recharge, though. They've been after us for hours. We burned close to a thousand calories. And... It's okay. How long do you need? Okay, guys. Grab a quick bite and check your amps for damage. We move in five. Commander, I was wondering. Do you ever forget the first time you kill someone? Because today was mine, and I... I'd be worried if it didn't bother you. But you're doing the right thing here. Does it ever get easier? No. Damn this war. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep servers from boxing you in. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Be ready when you need us, Commander. I'm still scared, Commander, Pranky but can do it. I won't let you down. No, but who cares? I'm not listening to Prank. I'm listening to Shepard.
How's your aunt? Hot. I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice. You'll be fine. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. Everyone be ready. We'll go in first to draw their fire. Commander, it might be better if we follow along from the second level. You can take point while we hit them from above. I like it. Keeps them safer, too. Just time your shots and stay safe. Right. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. Don't listen to him. He's just messing with your heads. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've all been trained for this. Commander Shepard isn't going to let anything happen to us. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. We're in the atrium. Yeah. 
okay up there? Ensign Rodriguez took a shot, but I think she'll be okay. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing, though. You need to hurry. Yup. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. This is a multi-core shield prototype based on cyclonic barrier tech. It'll hold off your guns for hours. Sanders, this is Shepard. I've got some scared students hiding behind a shield prototype. How do we know it isn't just Cerberus rigging the voice? You could test for distortion peaks, Isaac. Like I did when you faked a voice print to break curfew. And if that's Octavia's shield, remind her that I docked her half a grade because application of non-concurrent forces overloaded the emitters. Thanks, Sanders. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Looks like schematics for AMP interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Well, we can get in this mech? Back five.
Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She's not gonna make it. Joker, we flew out on the Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Some of us didn't get off. Jason Prangley came to Grissom when he was six years old. Barely spoke a word. He was so shy back then. To watch him grow up, only to... <sighs> he was always reading, studying battles. I called him a brown noser. Commander. I recommend we rethink the students' role. With their instructor dead, and Ensign Prangley... They've got impressive barriers. They could help reinforce key positions. A support role? Yes. Yes, they'd be ideal for that. So Prangley died and we're not even gonna fight? You'll be saving lives, just like Ensign Prangley did. Remember his name. And when you go up against your first Reaper, make sure they don't forget it either. Thank you, Commander. We won't. Shepard. Damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. I wish I could have gotten all of them out of there. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. private terminal.
Signal confirmed. There is no sign of Anne Bryson in this system. something. We have located Ann Bryson's dig site. I will bring Javik because the quest has to do with Protea technology. And Liar because she's a smart person, you know. of an attack on a group of scientists. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional problems. Who knows what we'll find? Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostiles! Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform! That's her. Okay, let's get her. Tracking multiple bogies. Get us over there. Negative, it's too hot. Heading to lower platform. Hang on. There, go! Jump! This isn't a dig site. It's a war. Move. She's somewhere above us. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm coming down. No. Stay where you are. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. It's too dangerous. We'll come to you. Yes, okay. You should take the elevator up on the far side. Copy that. We're on our way. here.
Looks like a bridge over there. Controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. Yes, Commander. This crude wiring has failed. I'm need a move. This way. I'm like running as fast as I can. Oh, Ken, are you still there? We're barely hanging on. Go around.
elevators online. We're coming up. Please hurry. I think Hopkins is dead. He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh, God. Yes, of course. I uh, was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Commander, look. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! What are they doing? They've activated me. I've never managed anything. Doctor? They've learned to well. The darkness must not be breached. Shepard! Take it out! Yes, Commander. You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. Just push off the ship. Get the hell out of here. You okay? Yeah, Commander. I, I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of you. You cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first... Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space. Like a rogue, or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father is dead. I'm sorry. He's... What? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant, 
one minute he was fine, the next he drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Ben? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. Back to his office. Assuming we have the gas to even make it out here. I'm out of this trash heap. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. It's alright. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again... He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man, a pioneer, but he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me... I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. Thank you. 
You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now... It might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Hey, loco. Need a hand? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper Killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. We didn't detect any energy emission. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that, most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs. But he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God. He'd have hated dying here. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie. Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! <laughs> Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. You all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes, but it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. 
It's a start. Commander, I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help. But it's not even there. Guess we're leaving. Oh boy, more scans. Is my gas filled? Well, looks like I don't have much of a choice. This is the only area that's going to get taken over if I don't do anything. Start with this one. Signal confirmed.
No sign of Leviathan at these coordinates. I found something. No sign of Leviathan at these coordinates. Of course, it's gotta be the furthest one. Signal confirmed. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're bringing Edie because I'm probably sure probably eat last time. Edie has a lot to do with the Leviathan quest. And, you know, Javik's a Promethean, so he probably has a lot to say. Everyone else is kind of not important for this quest, for this storyline at least. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Given these circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. But I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Why no one gets out of here? 
Any idea how old these are? Old enough not to stink. Looks like a damaged atlas. Different though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. Primitive, not worth the repair.
Okay, we're clear. Nice work, Commander. But there's a development. We need to talk. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Shepard, perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing... First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? It's a PSBR. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. We'll hold them off. in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to dive. I should check it over first. Just to be safe. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Commander, risk is rarely a hindrance. But this plan, 
even I would hesitate. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. The suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Looking for a way down. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Into the darkness. Can't see anything just yet. Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. Where's that thing going? Oh, over there, I see. What is that? I need to know why. They are the enemy. 
one that seeks our extermination. But I thought you were a reaper. Then what are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. <coughs> and <coughs> what's happening? Galaxies at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. For the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they were cared for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it... Harbinger. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination is not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of bones that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a reaper, perfect in its design, each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each reaper has the power to influence organics, over countless 
psycho whose disability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. What's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. Do you know anything about the device we're building? It's supposed to be a super weapon. We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly. Yet, that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood.
Commander, wake up! It's freezing! <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard up. Finish reading a report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. What a quest. Seems that this video has gone on long enough. We'll end it here. And then when we'll come back, we'll see what else is available for us to do.